you're in charge of the Callaway nuclear plant, which is now refueling. How long is it going to take to get the job done? It's, it's We went offline October 11th, and we'll come back online at mid-November time. I was told it takes 18 months to do this, but this sounds like a pretty short time to get things back online. We prepare for 18 months to make sure that we can uh, perform the activities or the modifications that uh, we do in an outage. So it's 18 months of preparation and then we come offline and do our maintenance and our modifications that we have planned for uh, during that time frame. What significant changes are you making during this, this period right now? Uh, the major change that we're making is the integrated head assembly or the new reactor vessel closure head uh, that is installed in the re uh, on top of the reactor. Uh, and what that is is um, it, it, it houses the control rod drive mechanisms and the fans associated with that, and that is the major project that we're doing this outage. Do you have to do this very often? As far as the reactor vessel head yep. is concerned, uh, absolutely not. Uh, uh, the original head that we just removed this outage was uh, installed in 1984, and this, is, this will ensure that we continue to operate Callaway into the future. Offline for uh, depending on what we're doing in that particular outage for approximately 30 days, uh, depending on the activities that we're doing, uh, and the reason for that is our nuclear fuel. Right uh, there again, we uh, have 193 fuel assemblies, and uh, you various fuel assemblies. Uh, about one third of it uh, we offload and put one third new fuel in. But that fuel, if you put it in, it'll go for three cycles just due to the concentration of uranium that is in there. So after about three cycles. It's done from its usefulness uh, in the plant, and we take that fuel off and put new fuel in so we can continue. And that's done every 18 months. Some plants are on a 24-month cycle where they do that, but we're on, uh, currently on an 18-month cycle. The reason why it goes in the middle, uh, you can tell, right, got little bitty blades. When steam's got a lot of pressure, a lot of energy behind it, it doesn't need a lot to turn a turbine. When it starts losing its pressure, and it goes out towards the outside of the wheel, it, it needs bigger blades to be able to turn that and make that go around. And so, a pretty big, massive, low-pressure turbine. Most of people who are challenging the relicensing, one of their big concerns is the storage of the spent fuel. Tell me how you folks handle all the fuel because every 18 months you have to replace a third of the rods. So how are you handling all of this fuel that now has been piling up for 30 years? Uh, we do have a, a spent fuel pool that uh, is part of our planned design and that has very specific requirements to allow us to keep that fuel in a very safe storage condition. Uh, we're also planning installation of a, uh, a dry cask storage facility and we'll begin loading spent fuel into that facility next year. In this process, what things have you installed to update or make this a new plant, not a 20-year-old plant that they want to relicense, yeah. but a, basically a brand new plant. How do you keep ahead of the curve? How do you keep up with the curve? Well, our equipment uh, is, is evaluated for its design life, and we determine that with some conservatism. We do not want to run our equipment until it no longer works. We want to make sure that we replace it while it still has plenty of time left. So uh, we do regularly replace equipment. Uh, some of the more major installations, though, uh, you saw the replacement reactor vessel head today. Uh, that's one of our big improvements. We've also replaced our steam generators. Those are, again, very large components. Uh, we have replaced a significant portion of underground piping. Uh, so that's another material improvement that we've made. So it's a constant state of renewal, not just every 20 years. That's correct. License, license renewal is renewal of the license, and that is really a paperwork activity, but it is an everyday activity to make sure that the plant is, is uh, functioning as safely and reliably and efficiently as possible.